I bought an entire Best Buy gaming setup. After taking a trip to my local Best Buy, I bought everything that I needed for the setup. I have PCs, monitors, gaming keyboards, and a bunch of other gaming peripherals. All right, so most of the time I go over the PC first, but this time I'm really interested in the peripherals because this is gonna be a streaming setup. So basically what makes a streaming setup are like the actual peripherals, like the camera, webcam, and like microphone. I'm actually extremely interested in this keyboard because this was the first actual good keyboard gaming keyboard I got before I even did YouTube. So this was like three years ago, like a super long time ago. And I actually love this thing, but for some reason it broke. This keyboard was around $70. And I think it actually was the exact same price when I bought it. It feels different for sure. And the actual keycaps are again, red clicky switches. I'll just pull a keycap off. You can see they are red clicky switches right over there. And it looks like it definitely got updated. Like it did not look like this when I last got it. I got it like a long time ago though. This key keyboard really reminds me to like the Razer Huntsman Mini on like red linear switches or just like the Apex Pro uh, Mini, like the brand new one that just came out. That's what it really reminds me to. Oh wait, I didn't even notice. They have a custom keycap. Wait, this looks sick. And wait, there's two custom keycaps? I thought it was just a keycap puller. I completely ignored it. Okay, this is literally the first time I've seen like a keyboard company give you custom keycaps. This is how it looks. This baseboard has like a space theme on it. It's actually sick though. I really like it and the it like definitely is not flexing. Like if I try and flex this keyboard, it's not flexing. Like it's like really good quality built. I'm like trying to flex it and it just won't at all. Okay, let's put that over there. And you know what? Since we did the keyboard, we might as well do the mouse. I'll have the exact price of this mouse, but it's the Rival 3 Wireless. And if I remember correctly, it was more on the budget side. So I think it was around like $40. You might even be able to get it like a little bit cheaper on Amazon, but it is a wireless mouse. It comes with batteries and I can tell it's more on the cheaper side just from that kind of uh, unboxing how it's more like cardboard it does not feel bad especially the material it's like grippy okay so all you have to do is pop in the two batteries here and one downside i have to say is you don't just like charge it there's not a place to charge the mouse so you're actually just like using batteries and i think it is triple a batteries all right it doesn't say it but yeah they definitely look like triple a batteries and the problem with this is actually with the batteries one it adds a decent amount of of weight like 10 or 15 grams if you like it's definitely heavier just like kind of feeling it around right now and i definitely will notice it when i'm gaming plus you're just gonna have to like renew the batteries like every time like i don't know how long the battery life on this thing is but i really wish they allowed you like just charge it because there's so many downsides to having batteries so yeah that's probably why it's more on the budget end for some reason i don't know if it's in all best buys but they literally like don't have any mouse pad so i had to go for like kind of a normal looking mouse pad it has like a simple core Corsair design. It is like the only extra long mouse pad they had. So it's not like as big as some of the other ones you've seen, but at least it's not like a simple black design. So I can't really complain, but the quality of it actually feels really nice. Like it actually feels like there's a decent amount of glide on this, to be honest. Apart from headsets, I don't think I've really ever used HyperX too much, but I have been seeing them introduce some microphones. There's like an upgraded version of this, but I think it's a, it's a little bit bigger, but this one was more on the budget side. It was about like like $60 and this entire like setup if I didn't already say is kind of more in the budget or like mid-tier kind of uh setup how do you get this out all right, there's really nothing inside of the box other than the microphone cable and then like a couple of manuals, but that's really it. And this microphone is like not too big at all. It has like pretty good swivel. You can like twist it all around and it comes with its own stand and it's already like completely put together. So easy to install. All you have to do is put it, plug it in and then it, plug it plugs into your PC and that's it. So yeah, we're gonna test this and the webcam once we actually get the PC and the whole setup like together. I've been using a Steel Series headset for like two and a half years. I use the Arctic 7 wireless and these are the Arctic Nova ones. They, okay, so these are not wireless. At least I don't think so. Okay, yeah, no, these are definitely wired headsets, but they're more on the budget side, just like everything else in the setup. Yo, these are so much smaller than the headsets I use. They don't feel that different though. These actually feel really similar to the Arctic 7s that I've been using for so long. They feel kind of the same. The only difference I really noticed is that the headset's a little smaller. But inside the box though, you get some decent looking stickers and then you have two cables here. One is for the microphone or, wait. Oh no, one is for the headset and I think the other one is probably for like the microphone. Okay, and that is it for the gaming peripherals.
Okay, so coming into Best Buy, I knew that I was most definitely not gonna get a good deal on a gaming PC. Usually, they're overpriced, they're just like not really worth it. And this specific one, I bought for $690. Actually didn't know, but inside the box, you get a keyboard. It looks like a membrane gaming keyboard. It is LED though, that's what it says. I don't think it changes colors. So yeah, definitely like a really cheap keyboard. And then you also have a mouse. And by the way, this PC is from CyberPower. Like I mentioned, I paid $690 for this PC. It was one of like the decent price PCs, I guess you could say. It has a 16, wait, let me check. It has a 1650, eight gigabytes of RAM and a Ryzen three. So for almost $700, I mean, $700 after taxes, I would expect at least like a Ryzen 5 5600 and like 16 gigabytes of RAM at least. Oh yeah. It's actually even dented here a little bit. Okay. My editor will probably have to zoom in for you guys to notice this, but there's like a huge kind of slant in the graphics card. It seems like it might not even be in all the way, or it's just like something's weighing down because the graphics card is like kind of tilted like this. It's a little weird. Yeah. This thing, is definitely dented here though. I don't know. It like actually dented into the PC. So now it's like kind of hard to take it out. I don't want to just yank this out though. Okay. So you have a couple of packaging. I think this is supposed to be used to help hold up the GPU. That's like how they always get shipped. I don't know why, like what was the point of it just laying up here? It was like actually no point. Oh, and I already noticed something else. That's not the best. You have just one stick of RGB or not RGB. You just have one stick of RAM, one eight gigabyte stick of RAM. So it's not even two four gigabyte sticks. It's one eight gigabyte stick. It is air cooled, of course. And the cable management is surprisingly not that bad if I'm being completely honest, actually better than I thought. Okay. So this is how the inside of the PC looks. You have more like kind of budget RGB fans, but they are RGB. You also have two over here. Like you can see the cable management is actually really good. It's like not too bad at all, but yeah, at least if they're going to use eight gigabytes of RAM, they should put like two four gigabyte sticks at least bro the front looks good but let's take off the back panel and see if it's actually like decent cable management okay so on the back they actually did use like these kind of velcro things just to hold the cables together and it's like pretty decent cable management if i'm I have to say so myself and you also got some more zip ties over there so yeah it's actually like really good cable managed it's just some of the specs on this pc are definitely lacking and you also have like the hard drive kind of trays here for lighting you can honestly go for like literally whatever you can even use just a simple lamp if you're on an extreme budget but i just bought like the kind of ring light that you see in almost like every tiktok you're using or just like streamer all right here's the actual ring light it looks a little bit smaller than i did expect because the box was like really big but the actual ring light isn't that big itself and then over here is just the stand so let me just take that out real quick it is like a tripod stand so i will have to like actually have this standing behind my desk and just use it like that let's just see when we actually plug it in like how bright this thing is and if it's actually wor worth it because sometimes you might buy like a cheap ring light and it's like really really dim okay this is something i did not expect from best buy it might just be my local one but i kid you not they did like did not have almost any monitors and the ones they did have were just like stupid expensive like three or four hundred dollars for like a 140 hertz monitor like it was just not worth it at all bro i hate taking out monitors okay so i bought this 27 inch monitor and it is i don't even know if you would say it's like a gaming monitor it's 75 hertz so it's more than the 60 that you see on most monitors but i i was not spending 400 dollars on like a monitor bro i i'm just not doing that because it was not even worth it at all this monitor is from acer and i actually need to get the monitor stand but here it also comes with a power cable but yeah i have to actually see like when i turn on the pc how good the screen actually looks but i'm assuming it's gonna just kind of be like kind of in the middle because i only paid like 110 dollars for this but you could just get 100 dollar monitors from ebay for 165 hertz and that's what i've been doing okay so all i have to do is tie in the monitor leg with the included screw that's like already attached and then i think i just slide it in right all right just like that why is this so weird okay so it kind of looks like a little bit of an older monitor because this thing's like so big it is 75 hertz and we can't be too harsh on it because it is a 27 inch monitor but let's put together this entire best buy gaming setup and let's just cue the cinematic No way I haven't been recording audio this whole time. Are you kidding me, bro?
All right, so right now I'm actually recording as I'm playing and the PC, I definitely am feeling it stutter a little bit. Remember, there's only eight gigabytes of RAM. So I think if I literally just upgraded that to 16 gigabytes, this like PC would perform so much better because then it would be able to multitask easier and it could like stream and record like see right there how big of a frame drop we had. It went down to 15 FPS. Right now we're getting like 110, 120 around there. And I'm recording a decent quality like you guys can see see but i am noticing like a little bit of ghosting even this monitor is uh 75 hertz too so it's not like a super fast monitor all right right now dropping in we are getting 40 50 fps on the lows it is averaging just about like 60 or 70 but if i'm being completely honest on everything like i'd recommend on the setup out of everything i bought if i were to actually buy something on a budget i would maybe buy the webcam if you were like on a 50 dollar budget but this keyboard for 70 dollars is genuinely like one of the best keyboards i've found for this price it feels like a 150 dollar keyboard it just feels so good the headset's decent but i've had this kind of sound quality with headsets i bought from amazon for like 25 dollars so it's like nothing crazy but it is comfortable this reminds me a lot to like my first pc oh 60 literally so lit 30 oh my gosh if i die oh yo no, 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 no. Okay, next game, next game. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, okay, it's fine, it's fine. I gave it my best there. Let's just go in another game. What the? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's white. Yep, we definitely pushed that. What the? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Oh my gosh, bro. What is this bot fight, bro? Oh, right here? What the? This looks like an NPC fight. Are these really NPCs, bro? This guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, no. This guy, I think, is real. What are these lobbies now? 70... All right, dead. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no. I literally reset. Okay, so it was lagging so much before, and now it definitely is lagging a lot less because I'm not recording. When I was recording, this game was like basically unplayable. It was just freezing like crazy the entire time. But now you can actually like sum up, you know, this kid keeps on killing me. But now it actually feels like decent to play on, and it hasn't had like one huge lag spike yet. And it actually feels like it's running a little bit better than Fortnite. And this is like, keep in mind, shipment. So there's so much constant action happening all the time, like bombs and explosions all over the place so if you just play warzone normally or just like modern warfare 2 normally then it shouldn't really be lagging that bad and you should be like fine like this is actually really good right now it's at performing a lot better than i expected yeah definitely recording definitely like holds this pc back a lot it's because there's not enough ram to multitask when recording and playing games that's like why it actually like lags so much there just isn't enough ram okay i did just feel like one kind of tiny lag spike but it's a lot better than before like before i literally could not play even if i wanted to it was so laggy maybe if it was like a year or two ago with a huge gpu shortage this price would be good for the pc but right now i just think it's a little bit overpriced it seems like they just haven't updated their prices or something how does the guy even have self-res who uses that all right i think that's gonna end it so conclusion of this entire video out of everything i just heard the microphone quality on this it's actually a lot better than i expected so i actually do recommend this and the keyboard those are really the only two recommendations i have in this entire setup and maybe this mic this uh webcam too but there are are some other options for instead of $60 you can maybe get for like 45 just from Amazon so it's just up to you if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you drop a quick sub and of course YouTube recommends this video right over here and yeah that's about it god bless